person A throws a ball straight to a person B. A and B are separated as far as 10.5 meters. The ball is thrown horizontally and moves at 25 meters per second. Ignore the gravity. B hits the ball 5 into 10 less to minus 3 seconds after the ball was thrown. If the hitter moves at a constant speed of 5.5 meters per second, the ball is hit by the hitter after the hitter moves as far as how much? This is the question. Okay. First of all, we shall see uh, what is the given data. The distance between two persons is 10.5 meters. This is what we know. So either they are playing cricket or they are playing uh, which game? Hello? Me. Sorry. It means person A, na? See, A has thrown the ball. So who is going to B be? hits. B is going B to hits. Be. Correct. And also it is given in the data. B hits the ball. Now, now how shall I proceed? What else is given? Hello? So the velocity of the ball. Velocity. Is correct. Correct. Ball speed is given 25 meter per second. Next thing. What is next thing? If both are stationary, the time is given. Okay. So time interval is 5 to 10 less to minus 3 seconds. It means 0 0.005 seconds. It means once it was released by A, uh, it took person B to hit the ball this much time. So it was thrown at speed. Okay. Hitter speed 5.5 meter per second. It is also given. What we have to find is yes. We shall see what we have to find. It is given uh, here in the problem statement also. Now, uh, as far as the distance covered by the object which is thrown is 0 0.1 to 1 to 5 meters because the velocity uh, is 25. I have uh, by mistake written 20, but it is 25. Okay, so 25 into 0 0.005 is 0 0.1 to 5 meters. Okay. Next, hitter's distance. What is the hitter's distance? Is it given? Please see. 10.5 meter. So S2 we know. So ball's distance plus hitter's distance is equal to distance between A and B. Okay. This is what we can uh, write. And we will just now have got or divided uh, the distance between A and B uh, among these two parameters, ball's distance and hitter's distance. Because why hitter's distance? It says if the hitter moves at a constant speed of 5.5 meter per second for hitting the ball after it is released by A. Okay, so B has. Uh, come ahead with some speed of 5.5. Please remember this. So ball's distance is 0.125 that we have evaluated here. Then for hitting the ball, person B has traveled at a constant velocity of 5.5. So it will try he will travel some distance. So in some time t. So 5.5 times t is that particular distance traveled by hitter. And total distance between A and B is 10.5. It is in the given data. So can you now find what is time required for hitter to uh, travel a distance of 5.5 meters? Can you get it? Yes. 1.886. 1.886 seconds. 
so that was asked okay that was asked that if this particular person is going to hit the ball he is traveling or he is coming ahead uh, down the pitch with some velocity okay so he will travel some distance given velocity is 5.5 when he is hitting the ball so he has covered a distance of 5.5 uh, he has covered a distance in 5.1.86 uh, seconds with a velocity of 5.5 meter per second that is what we can conclude a little bit uh, confusing or uh, deviating data is there uh, we cannot uh, uh, conclude or judge what is exactly the thing okay so this uh, particular thing is uh, the main thing where our answer lies okay so hitters distance uh, needs to be understood here Thank you.